there's another dynasty at Columbia, which you all know about, and that is boys soccer. Now again, as I said, I went to Columbia starting in 1963. Soccer as a sport at Columbia started in 1961, and Mr. C came to Columbia in 1964. And quite frankly, those teams were bad. Now that's historically accurate. Before Mr. C got to Columbia, soccer was not a good program. But he innovated, he innovated high school soccer as no one before him had ever done. Cougar Soccer Club, starting kids at the age of, what, four or five years old, playing all year round, summer camps. It all helped to make soccer at Columbia nationwide famous, one of the top programs for many, many years in the entire country, not only in New Jersey. And obviously, we've said a lot about Mr. C. He was an original inductee in our first year, and deservedly so. Tonight, we are honoring one of the superstars from one of his soccer teams, Ari Edelman, class of 1992. Ari was a vital member as a sophomore of the state championship team um, of 1989 and along with his brother Justin. Again, we're talking about family and the close connections. He and his brother Justin were a, a scoring machine. Ari had a, a wonderful career at Columbia. He was second two times All-County, two times All-State, and an All-American his senior year. He was a member of the North-South All-Star Game and one of the leading goal scores in Columbia soccer history, I think third all-time in goals, fifth in assists. After high school, he went on to play four years at Loyola of Maryland. He was second team first, sec, two times first team all-conference, and his team won the NAAC titles four times, and he was captain and MVP his senior year. After college, he played semi-pro. After that, he continued to help the youth in soccer, uh, running the director of the heads off, head, Hands Off Soccer Program and the Cougar and Wachung Hill Soccer Club. Again, we're talking about family. Ari's three sons are here, and I understand they are all three magnificent soccer players. Daniel's professional, and Brian and David are future stars. So from the class of 1992, soccer star Ari Edelman. First off, congratulations to all the honorees tonight. Um, it is, uh, it's a privilege to be recognized among the most accomplished athletes, you know, from Columbia High School, and more importantly, or as important, the storage soccer program. I was very lucky to grow up on Kingsland Terrace, two houses away from the Webbers. Michael, Jack, Anita, Karina and Jake, they, they were, well, the three were our babysitters, but they were so much more than our babysitters. You know, they were a soccer family in a growing soccer community. Um, for me, it all started with the Cougar Soccer Club, and you referenced that. And yeah, we started at a really young age. And I always said the, the competitive advantage was just the simple fact that we played together all year round. And that was really important, you know, and you know, again, from such a young age, playing alongside my buddies just made it more special. So, you know, again, Mr. C kind of built this before, before there were MLS Next and all these elite academies. High school soccer was the benchmark. That's what it was, and that's what we strived to play, and that's what I wanted to do. Growing up, I remember. I wanted to score goals like Myro. I wanted to pull the strings like David Donovan. And, and I wanted to play with my brother. You know, that was, that's what I wanted. And listen, I go back 1989, my sophomore year, you know, we won the group four state championship. How awesome is that? And, you know, again, as, yeah. And, uh, you know, listen, I, 
Got to play alongside my brother. I, I scored a goal. He scored a goal in the state final. It's like, you know, I go back, and now that I'm a parent, and I look back, I go, oh, my God. How awesome was that for my parents? You know, to, you know their kids are, are playing. They're winning a the state championship, scoring goals. I mean, the pinnacle. And listen, I am very, family is everything to me. So to understand and to realize that, again, family, parents, my grandparents, our biggest fans, you know, there for us all the time. So to be able to do that was special. The problem was, I thought that was normal, right? Okay, we're just gonna keep doing this, right? We, you know, we were a, a really, we were a good team. You know, we had a lot of division one players across the board playing at Columbia. Now, my next two years, listen, we, we were really good. We were, you know, we went, uh, we were number one in the country my junior year, and we played St. Benedict's, a loaded St. Benedict's team with the best players in the country, Claudio Reina, Greg Berhalter. I mean, it was loaded, and I say, we went 15 rounds with them. They beat us in overtime. Uh, we were tied for number one in the country with them at that time, and it was a battle, but that's what, that's what we, uh, that was high school soccer at that time. You know, unfortunately, that year in the, uh, in the state tournament, we lost to Carney, who kind of had Columbia's number for some years. And uh, it was brutal, but you kind of realize, hey, that's life, right? The ball doesn't always bounce your way. You may be the better team. You know, you may have the better players. It doesn't always bounce your way. Now, you know, again, I, I move on now to my, my senior year, and I was actually watching a tape recently, a VHS tape. Yes, we actually still have a VCR. I was watching a VHS tape. I think we were playing, we were playing Livingston. The Livingston coach was going bananas, absolutely nuts. I mean, you, he, he didn't stop. And I'm watching the game, and I'm like, oh my God. All I'm thinking is, I can't believe how many times I've lost the ball this game. I, I, I don't do that. What is happening? It was like, I couldn't figure out what was going on. We were terrible. It was a county quarterfinal game. And all of a sudden, you hear, and Leo O'Neill was doing the commentating, so there were some <laughs> hilarious comments. I mean, you couldn't. All of a sudden, you hear Mr. C go, OK, let's go. And he said it three times, OK, let's go. And all of a sudden, the mood shifted. And I think we scored three goals in the next five minutes. And everything changed. And I looked at it, I said, hmm. First of all, from Mr. C, that's what leaders do, right? They know when to push the right buttons. They know when to speak up. The Livingston coach was silent after that. He didn't say anything because it was over. It was done. The second team came on, and we, we moved on. But again, this was about a group of guys that just came together. And I don't know why we were so flat that game. But hey, it happens. It's, you know, we say it's, it's soccer. And listen, senior year, you know, we, um, moving on after that, we won the county tournament, which was terrific. And then we ended up losing in the sectional final to Westfield. And that was really, that was tough. It was brutal. I don't, I still don't watch that game. Um, it, they got us back. We beat them our sophomore year. Um, they got us back and you know, it was really hard, but I think that, you know, there were so many lessons I learned. You know, you, you've got to figure out how to lose, how to lose with dignity, right? It stinks. I hated it. It really, it was, it's, it was painful, but you got to pick yourself up and, and move on to the next phase. You know, always when I reflect back, I just, I think about my teammates and the bonds we had. And, you know, that to me was the most special. And, the reality is we won a heck of a lot of games. We won a lot of games and it was a lot of fun to play with those guys, but more importantly, you take away some of those lessons and while losing stinks, it is certainly a part of life and you deal with it, you move on. So after my, you know, my Columbia High School, my soccer experience there, I moved on and I transitioned. I went to Loyola, at the time it was Loyola College now it's Loyola University of Maryland, uh, you know, to play Division I soccer. And my transition was actually pretty brutal. It was really, really tough. You know, I, I tore my knee my senior year in, uh, in the spring season of my senior year. I had reconstructive knee surgery my freshman year in college. You know, we had some personal tragedy in the family. 
nothing was coming easy anymore. It was really hard, and, and I struggled. I really did. And listen, I, I go back to what's important to me, the family support system, and I always had that throughout my life. And they really, they really picked me up, and I realized, listen, where I came from, we have this great history at Columbia High School, all these, all these players that, you know, that, that perform at such a high level, they go on to college, they perform at a high level, and listen, I gotta get back there. I've, I better roll up my sleeves and, and figure this out and, and get back to work. And it took me a good two years, but I did that, you know, and I put in the time and I put in the effort, and, and I got back to, to playing at a high level, the level that I was playing at in high school. But it wasn't easy. And again, just so many valuable lessons learned there. And, and thankfully, you know, on my, uh, on, my journey, on my journey at Loyola, I met this lovely young lady who was breaking records by the minute on the women's basketball team. Yes, she's in more Hall of Fames than I know. So I knew pretty quickly that I found my soulmate. And she pushed me even harder to, to really elevate my game and get back to where I knew I wanted to be as a player and you know, where she knew I could be. And so I'm so appreciative and thankful for that. And next week we celebrate our 24th wedding anniversary. So, uh, so the game, the game has been such a big part of my life for now over 45 years. I'm, I'm so thankful that I passed along my love to, to my three boys. Um, it's, it, you know, I, we never, Patty and I, we never forced them to play it, just guided them and always Come just... On, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know someone wanted a basketball player here, so, you know. <laughs> Just, just, just guided them and would support their ambitions as best, you know, as best we could within reason, right? Within reason. I, I'd say for the last 15 years, I've, I've been the best chauffeur on the planet. Uh, you know what? I've been the best, and I wouldn't trade that precious time for anything in this world. The, the opportunity to spend that time with my boys and to watch them do what they love is more valuable than anything. And it's really, it's been a blessing. And listen, today I get to drive 10 miles down the road to watch Daniel play at the highest level in this country at Red Bull Arena, you know? And, and, and his career is just getting started. You know, Brian, who transformed himself into just a, a top center back is, going to play Big East Soccer next year at Creighton University. There's, hey, going up against Coach Mays there at St. John's. But, uh, you know, again, it's, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And you know what? My duty calls tomorrow morning because Brian's got a game down in Maryland. So, I'm, you know, again, I'm back to my chauffeur duties. So I got to get him there by, uh, by 1030. So it's going to be an early morning. And I'll tell you this. Eric, who is my, uh, my, my little guy, I can't wait to watch you crush it at Watchung Hills High School over the next few years because you get to experience what I did. You get to experience the, you know, the pride of playing for your community and, again, playing for your school and playing alongside your buddies, which was, you know, just so cool. And I gotta give a shout out to Darren, because my nephew Darren is there as well. He gets to play for Scotch Plains, which is also, also pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I'm, uh, I'm getting there. I've got, some, I've got some thank yous here. Listen, Mr. C built one of the most successful programs in the country. I'm so thankful that I was a small part of it. You know, it means the world to me. The CHS, um, you know, soccer fraternity is true family. The Brienzas, Maddo, Brian Kerrigan, the Majors, thank you all, and so many more. Thank you all for setting the bar so high and giving us something to strive for. You guys, you guys were the pioneers there, and we could only hope to come, come close. So, 
my, my freshman coaches, Kevin Williams and, uh, and Jay Kumar. I got to give a shout out to them. <laughs> got to give. Uh, Darren Hawks. Darren was the anchor of defense for, I mean, we started in, you know, in, at, in the Cougars soccer club right through high school, and we played in college together. That just doesn't happen. And he was the anchor of defense. I was the guy that was supposed to score the goals. And we did it for a long time, and man, we won a lot of games. And Darren, your friendship means more to me than anything. So. Scott Polk sitting there as well. Again, same, I mean, we've played together since we were five years old. And the lifelong friendships with my teammates from the Cougar Soccer Club through Columbia High School, those are as meaningful as, as anything. And I see Andrew sitting over there as well. I gotta give a shout out to Andrew, who's obviously one of the top players in the program as well. Love playing with him. We've played together for a year. Some other shout outs of, of some of the players that, you know, were part of, you know, again, my time at Columbia, Booney, who I, who I saw here earlier. And not only, not only was Booney, not only did I play with him in high school, I played against him in college when Loyola played Howard University. One, one of the great moments of all time, because I think one of the kids on my, on my team almost got kicked off the team that day, because Booney did a bicycle kick on our turf and literally almost scores a goal, and one of my teammates jumps up and starts cheering. <laughs> Coach looked at him, and that was not a good thing. But Booney, I, again, the memories, incredible. Just some other shout outs, like uh, Steve Warjenka, um, Petey Freeland, guys that I played with. I, Alex Sansevero, who I know was inducted a couple of years. Alex, I got to play a lot with Alex after college, and we had such a blast doing it. Um, Justin, you know, Justin and I were very competitive gr growing up. We always pushed each other, we always pushed each other to be better. There was no, nothing, nothing more fun than playing alongside you and winning a state championship in 1989. That was the pinnacle. That was storybook and playing alongside you and alongside Mike Laskowski, who's here, and Dave Morani and your buddies and being able to, to achieve something that and hadn't been done in, you know, I think it was 10 years. So for us to be able to do that was, uh, it was just, it was awesome. It was awesome. So I'm getting there. I'm almost done. I, I got a couple more. I got a couple more. So in high school, I couldn't get away with anything because my mom was not only a teacher, but she was our class advisor. So literally, she knew everything that was going on before I knew what was going on. But mom, again, I appreciate everything. I love you, thank you so much for your support from the beginning. Um, she is still a fixture on the sideline at the kids' games today. Um, yeah. My, you know, my, my dad really, really would have enjoyed being here tonight. Yeah, he, he lived for his kids, he lived for his grandkids. Um, you know, we, we lost him nine years ago, and he really, you know, we say a lot, man, he's missed so much. Yes, I know he's watching it all. Uh, he would have enjoyed this. He used to do, he would do anything, right? He, he ran the Memorial Day tournament, he coached soccer. He didn't know how to coach soccer, but he coached soccer. And, and would just do anything, and I was always appreciative of, of everything he did, he did to support us. Um, we have a very small family. As I've said, family is really important. Um, the Ostrowskis uh, have, oh, have, have, have supported us from the beginning. They've always been there from us. I'm so appreciative um, to them. They used to come to, they weren't a soccer family. They weren't a, on the soccer side of the family. They used to always show up at the games where it was sub-zero temperatures, but hey. Their, their love and support is, was always very important and is always very important to me. Love you. <laughs> uh, um, so in closing, we, I looked in the program, it's, you know, the Edelman brothers had, um, you know, we scored over 100 goals, um, which is amazing. And again, I always say, you look back and now as a parent, how meaningful that was to, to my parents and you realize, wow, there's nothing better. 
um, I look at I look at Justin and I do hope that the committee considers Justin for induction next year. I do believe I, I, I do believe he deserves to be standing up here next to me and I hope he will in the near future. Again, thank you all. Thank you for the memories. It's memories for a lifetime.